In this video, we are going to cover how to optimize your CPU for gaming in 2023 for your any low-end PC or laptop. This video is going to help you for increasing your FPS and improving your overall Windows performance and this will make your system more responsive. So guys, make sure to watch by this whole video. If this is your first time here, please drop a like, subscribe to my channel and with wasting any time, let's dive straight into it. Gear Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you're playing games using your wired or wireless connection. This is the one of the best program for rerouting your network and help you to connect with the nearest server of the game for achieving the better ping with lower input delay. So guys, make sure to check out the link in the description for downloading this tool and enjoy the free trial using my link in the description. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to unlock and utilize all the CPU cores and thread of our PC. So guys, folder press windows are together from your keyboard and type here MS config and press enter. Now from here, you need to go for this boot tab, go for advanced option and there check mark onto the number of processor and this will unlock all the processor cores. Now go for the drop down and select out here the maximum number according to your CPU. Now hit OK, hit apply and click OK. Now in the next step, we are going to disable the power throttling on our windows. So for that, again press windows are together from your keyboard but this time type here gpedit.msc. Now go for computer configuration, administrate template, system. Now scroll down and find here power management so go for it. Now go for power throttling settings and there you will find out this power throttling settings. So open up this option. You need to enable the setting for disabling the power throttling. After that hit apply and click ok and close out your group policy editor. Now in the next step we are going to create a new profile in our performance monitoring on our windows. So for that guys go for your windows search and search for performance monitoring. Now go for this data collector set and click on the drop down. After that go for user defined. Right click here go for new and open up this new data collector set. Now you can type in any name I am typing her CPU. After that go for create a manual advanced settings. Click on the next button. Now check mark on the performance count. Now again click on the next button. Now click add after that here you will find out this processor option so now click here on the processor after that here you will find out instance of select object now scroll all the way down and select the maximum number you have available in this list so i have 15 so click on this add button and add the processor into this list after that go for this processor and click on the drop down now you need to scroll down and find out here thread counts so go for this option click on total after that click on this add button and add here thread count also in this list after that click on the ok button now click on the next button again hit next Next, and hit finish. Once you have created this performance monitoring plan in this list, now simply close out performance monitoring. Now in the next step guys, you need to download the CPU optimization pack on your Windows. Link will be down in the description. Simply open up the link that will take you onto this website where you will find out the same exact article about the CPU optimization. So open up that article and download this file on your PC. After downloading, extract it here on your desktop and you will find out this folder. Open up this folder. Now inside you will find our CPU optimization. Clean up temporary file, CPU priority, power plan, and best quick booster application. So go for first folder inside here you will find our registry for your game DVR, power throttling, increase CPU responsiveness, and optimize CPU for gaming. So double tap, hit yes, hit ok, and do the same settings for all this registry, and this will install all this registry on your PC. So now in the next step here you will find that cleared up temporary files. This will remove all the junk data from your PC. So open up this folder. Inside you will find clean temporary files .bat. So right click here. Make sure to run this as administrator. Therefore you can delete all the files. Press any key from your keyboard and guys here we done. Now here in the next step you will find our CPU priority folder. So go for it. Now you need to choose here your CPU if you have AMD, Ryzen or Intel. So I have Intel CPUs. I will go for Intel. Enter priority dot registry, double tap and install this registry on your PC. Now in the next step, here we got power plan settings and this is one of the most important settings for improving your CPU performance. So inside this folder, you will find out power control setup exe file. So you need to install and open up this application. And guys, I'm using this application from a long time. So here you can check out here the interface of the power control. So you need to go for the drop down and select out here the bit some high performance. After that, apply all the settings on your PC. Click on the make activate and apply this power plan on your windows. Now here you will find out with some high performance power plan, make sure to install it. After that check mark all these boxes, hit ok and save the settings. Now guys for checking the power plan is applied or not, so go for your power plans and guys make sure to choose the bit some high performance power plan from the power plan settings of your windows. Now hit close. Now in the next step here you will find out this quick boost.exe file and this is one of the best optimization tools for windows optimizations. Open up this exe file. Guys here is the very simple interface of the quick boost optimizer. Inside here in the general tab you will find out all the basic optimization like you can disable here the xbox and the game bar. Simply click on this button and this will disable or optimize your pc. Hit ok. Now here is the time and resolution for reducing the input delay. Next here we go to disable start 
have the documentary install it on your PC, then here we go, disable mouse acceleration, install it, and disable power saving mode on your windows. After that here you will find out this power plant setting, but guys we are already using the power control so I not suggest you to do it. Then here is the apply system profile tweaks. Hit OK. Now here the next step you will find this disable unnecessary system services. So go for it and disable all the unnecessary services on your windows. After that hit OK. Now here is the disable starter program and this is the manual. So guys go for it. And guys now you need to disable here all the unused application like the Skype. I have already disabled it from running in the startup. Then here we go this Microsoft Edge. I have already disabled it. IDM, I have already disabled it. CC Cleaner, let me just disable it on my PC. And guys, after that, now close out it. Now go for the next step and inside you will find out this advanced settings like disable memory throttling. So install it. Memory tweaks, simply install it. PC tweaks, latency of your system, hit OK. And guys, here is some advanced settings for your RAM. So simply now type here size of your RAM, like I have 16 GB, so I will type 16 GB. Press enter. Now here you will go to this hardware data queue size for the latency and guys enable the settings after it guys now you can also go for the next there you will find out all the cleanup section but we already have cleaned all the junk files from our windows now simply close out this application and now you need to one time reach to your pc after that enjoy the best performance out of your windows out of your cpu for gaming and overall windows performance i hope so you love this video please make sure to drop a like subscribe to my channel and to let the next video peace out